Over there. It's Sephiroth. <gasps> what? Come on. Let's go. Yeah! 
on you. I got you. to have you back, Cloud. <sighs> Sephiroth? I knew he was strong, but still. Those guys are looking for him, too. They've got to be. Yeah, I kind of get that feeling as well. Let's not lose her. That's easy for you to say. You fought the worst for a living. Not us, though. Yeah, good point. You mind taking the lead, Merc? For 2,000. <laughs> Enough for her standard course twice, right? Her what now? Ask him. Cloud? Uh, uh, forget it. You guys need to focus. Wasn't all that long ago that this place was a working mythical mine. Y'all know about mythical, right? Hmm. Not anything specific, no. It's pretty tough. And beautiful, besides. Right on both counts. But what you might not realize is just how rare it is. Never been found outside of these caves, in fact. And 
ought to know. Worked in a mine myself back in the day. Hard not to learn about the life when you live in it. Should we pick up a few souvenirs then? Mm, we could, but probably not worth it. Shinra's been churning out stuff made with more durable alloys for years now. Even got that signature mithril sheen and everything. Probably refined with materia too. Look at you, Mr. Shinra expert. <clears throat> Accompany him. I'm no stranger to Kings. <laughs> okay, if you're sure. Sorry to. I mean, thank you. <clears throat> hmm. You keep track of the other roads now, you hear? Of course. to get out of here. Let's see.
Tell me about Reno. He holding up okay? He's been through worse. He's been instructed to take some time to himself. To relax. Recuperate. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but that sounds a lot like a nice, long, all-expenses-paid vacation. Well, more or less. Lucky. Hardly. He's bored out of his mind. Hmm. <laughs> Probably misses it. Seriously? What are we even doing here? <sighs> Sorry, but I gotta say it. This mission, it makes no sense. Why are we wasting our time following these hooded weirdos around? Orders are orders. The whys and wherefores are not our concern. Yeesh. Maybe you need a vacation. So about him, Mr. Workaholic. Thoughts? I say we put him down. I mean, that's what Sung would do if he was here. <sighs> Assholes. Who's there? <sighs> Sharp ears. <gasps> Damn it. <gasps> no freaking way. Avalanche. Feast your eyes on the Turks' latest and greatest, Elena. But you three can call me your worst nightmare. Where's Reno? On vacation. And unfortunately for you, I'm here to fill in. She may be new, but she's still a Turk. And a consummate professional. I got you. Just like we practiced. Gotcha! Take that! That hit yeah. you! Come on! Ha! There! Ha! 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 Things have changed. While you're still wanted fugitives, if you stay out of our way, we'll stay out of yours. Oh yeah? Bullshit! Take care of Aerith for me. Nice 
Hojo's lab was filled with men like this. Mako poisoned. Every last one of them. Poor bastards. What do you think their deal is? Where are they going? They're following Sephiroth. Or so Cloud seems to think. He did say that. Let's hope the boy can keep it together.
Look who it is. Oh, hey, guys! Over here! <laughs> Y'all taking a breather? Or what? The bridge is out! Do you think you can give us a hand? Let me see. For two grand. Two. Hilarious. Appreciate it. Two grand! And don't you forget. to get that ninja
shouldn't linger. True, but don't forget. Shinra knows we're here now. Maybe more of them outside. That doesn't make any difference to me. I ain't stopping. Not for them or anyone. Not after Midgar. Not after what we saw. So if they get in our way, that's on them. Right. Let's get back to tailing the guys in robes. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. To. Is that... Junar. Shinra territory. Come on. said to roost on an island's abandoned reactor. Though there's no longer any way to reach the island. Or at least, no matter They just finally reclaimed what shit was stolen. Well, even if we could get there, I'd rather not bother. It didn't seem very friendly. Agreed. Let's focus on where we can go. Yep. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
This is Junon? Everything above us. Below is under Junon. Little more than an impoverished fishing village. <laughs> Vegas. Shinra's always gotta have someone to stop on. It's their friggin' MO. One moment. Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. turn you in and be a hundred grand richer for it <laughs> well you know what they say can't take it with you hmm. Hmm. and Aerith to boot huh that's another half a million on top <gasps> half a million <laughs> down here though we know when to turn a blind eye. Consider our lips sealed. <laughs> Sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would, if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But, over there, there's a quiet little inn, where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. I did see some black suits, though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what, but the company's got something big planned up there. And security is tight. You start anything? Anything at all? And there will be consequences. Behave yourselves now. She said, there's got to be black robes around here somewhere. So how are we going to find them? That would depend on where they are headed. If 
if they mean to continue west, there are only two ways off this continent. By sea, or by air. Right. You might want to ask around town, then. Locals will know routes not on the map. You may have even seen stragglers pass through. Or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? Sounds good. And remember, low profile. Brittle houses in the sea air. Pink chipping and wood bending. Time moving on. And the light here. Hello there. Inspiring, isn't it? The view. I'm Snaps, by the way. Shutterbug and card-carrying member of the Association of Photography Aficionados. Mind if I get a shot of you? For posterity. <laughs> Pretty as a picture. You got what it takes to be in front of the camera. But what about behind it? So, apparently there's a rather scenic spot not far from here. Thing is, this terrain's a bit perilous. At least for your average photog like me, but maybe not for you. If you find the spot, take a moment to appreciate it. Try to view it as a professional photographer might. Have you met Priscilla yet? You'll know her when you see her. She's such a special girl. Cute as a button and clever to boot. Where do they keep... Hey there! Looking to augment your folios? Come back soon! Many years ago, this stretch of ocean was home to the Republic of Junon's capital, a floating city built atop a fleet of interconnected ships. holding some kind of big event up top. Wonder what? If you're looking for them... Okay, where was I? Yeah. My friends! We're recruiting for Crows Against Shinra! <laughs> Elevators are only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm it. to take a rowboat out. Shinra's saying it's only a temporary prohibition. But people gotta eat. Anyway, short of stealing a boat and causing a scene, both us and our black robe friends are SOL. We should have never let them build a reactor in our waters. Been an age since we've seen travelers like this. Fisherman, not a businessman. Jim Ryan. In the old days, you could make it. Believe it or not, there's a reactor at the bottom of this
room for one. Help! Somebody, please! Help! <laughs> Anybody! Please! That sword. You're some kind of fighter, aren't you? That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. We gotta go! Now! There's a monster attacking the boat! This way! Down here! She Quickly! Okay. Please!
I need to get her breathing again. Don't just stand there, help me! You're on chest compressions. Got it. Now, start! Uh. guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. <sighs> Easy. They're guests of mine. And this one was trying to save her life. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't ya? You big moron! Dum -dum 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 Okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Not to beat that guy, but kids these days, I swear. How now? Who's that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. Monsters like that one have been cropping up more and more lately. Goddamn reactors to blame. Right? Now, how the hell did you? I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. He wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but. Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow. Sweet! You won't be sorry. Promise. Later! Um... I know, I know, she laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. Isn't the heroes of the hour. I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? <laughs> uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? It's open. Hey, so about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Like Tifa said, your autograph. 
Ah, the burden of fame. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Always knew this day'd come. Good thing my signature's a work of art. Let me prove it to you. Slipping away, one by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of... You seen them lately? <laughs> hmm? Cloud. Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Red. Thought it was someone else. Nope. I'll clear your officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that, not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know, in a vase at 7th Heaven, and I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl, especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge, but next time... timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio? From Nibelheim? Only person from the village I remember is you. Huh? Oh. Okay then. His family owned the general store. Right. Anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... 
grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... <sighs> You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? <laughs> Night. the gang's all here it's time you got to know me my name is Yuffie Materia Hunter and elite ninja operative for the interim Wutai government I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai is not to be trifled with Wutai? <sighs> me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats. I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that way. I resent that. <laughs> Although, that is something we do. alone so far from home is expensive so I've been moving from town to town hustling scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man until that is I came here and lucky I did because I met Rhonda she offered me the gig of a lifetime an assassination and guess who the target is seriously guess <sighs> just spit it out already who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. 
Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out... Oh, wow. Tell us more. Mm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Oh, got a hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this is fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> now, now! You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it! Who's that? A pain in the ass. Let's go. Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if by fate, the Speed Demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith Game Boy. Uh, me? Come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. <laughs> you got some weird friends, man. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. Well, since you clearly don't have anything better to do, think I could put you to work? The remainder of your bounty. I need it delivered to someone. I've already got a porter picked out, too. This here's Salmon. Since he'll be the one making the drop, it's your job to get him there safe. Huh. Doesn't seem like too much of a hassle, but who exactly is this money for? My son. Haven't seen him in a spell. Not since he left town. And never looked back. This gills me washing my hands of him. He's a grown man. Can't be clinging to his mom's skirts. Or her pocketbook. The crow's nest. Boy got sick of living under this steel sky. And my thumb, I suppose. So he went into the mountains way east of here. Found some more like-minded idiots. Kinda sad, if I'm being honest. If you're gonna run away, at least go somewhere interesting. Don't half-ass it. 
I meant what I said. Can't afford to take care of this town and his shit. I raised him best I could. Gave him every advantage. But he's gotta learn to stand on his own two feet. Besides, I've got someone else to take care of now. Don't I, Sam? Much obliged. Once you make it to the crow's nest, find Toby. He'll make sure you get the reward I promised. But if I find a single hair out of place on Sam, you won't live to enjoy it. You keep my boys safe. is going to have to go through me. Hey, Cloud, remind me. How old were you when you left home? Fourteen. Wait, it was spring, so... Thirteen. Suppose that ain't too unusual for small town. What would your mom have to say? Not much. Didn't try to stop me. Like you said, nothing unusual about it. But... But... Kill. She offered me that to make a fresh start. <laughs> Guess moms are the same all over. I turned the money down though. Didn't need it since I was planning to enlist straight away. <laughs> but you still can't help save your fight to do bad. Fill the metal language. <laughs> 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 all this way and you're still full of energy. Uh, do I know you? We're Sam's bodyguards. Your mom hired us to keep him safe. And to make sure her boy got his allowance. Keep it. I ain't taking her money. I can make ends meet on my own. Who are they, Dylan? Friends of yours? Claire, what are you doing out of bed? You know you need to stay off your feet. I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. Just make sure Sam gets home safe for me. You really are your mother's kid. Got her stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. Why don't you hang on to it? This is a fortune. If you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. But as a parent, I'm sure you want to give your kid the best life you can. And in my experience, that don't come cheap. Think it over. That's true. We'll take it. 
Oh. Dilster, was looking for you, dude. Toby. Sorry, got a little tied up. Hang on, aren't these guys with Avalanche? Honda said I might run into you. Avalanche? Wait, you mean they're the ones who blew up those reactors? The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Actually, while you're here, think I could ask you for a favor? Seeing as Dylan's, uh, situation seems to be taken care of? Yep, it's all good. Excellent. In that case, why don't we step into my office for a chat? Right this way. <laughs>